Hey guys, what's going on? I have had a lot of requests to do the review on this little guy, and that is the Maritak County Com Peanut Lighter. So like I said, it is made by Maritak and sold at countycom.com. Link will be in the description to their website and where you can order this if you're interested. So like I said, I've gotten a lot of requests to do this review, and uh, I have been EDCing this in my pocket since I got it on Christmas. Uh, so, because I mean, it is so small. I mean, you can see there's nothing to it. I just uh, slip it down in the change pocket of my jeans, and uh, it does not come with this. I just put this little uh, paracord lanyard thing on there to help extract it from the pocket. But uh, yeah, this is just an excellent little piece of gear. I mean, it's so small and affordable enough to where there's really no reason not to have one. But I know a lot of you do. So it's just an excellent little piece of gear. Slip it on your keys. Uh, throw it down in your survival kits, first aid kits maybe, your day packs, bailout bags, or just, like I said, part of your EDC. So just a very cool little lighter. I'm going to get down to the uh, construction. It is solid stainless steel, as you can see by the exterior. This is very this is very chunky for the weight, or for the size. I mean, you can hear it is uh, very, very hefty. They actually have a video on their website of a uh, fire truck running over these <laughs> and uh, didn't do anything to them and uh, yeah you, you check that video out they do all come with a split ring up top here like I said so you can put it on your keys or fix a lanyard to it or whatever you want to do the bottom is flat with nice bevels around there no sharp edges on this whatsoever like I said it is nicely beveled and you can stand it up on its on its end like that in case you need to uh, do some two-handed jobs, I don't know. Need some free free hand. It does have Maritax stainless cage. I am assuming that's a serial number. Not really sure, but it just looks very nice and sleek. It is very smooth. I might actually get this stone washed. I think that looked pretty cool. So anyway, it does have a screw-off cap. The threads are nice and smooth. I like that. And you can see in the bottom, solid stainless. Very nice. And uh, here's your lighter. Not much to it, right? <laughs> it's in your hand. Nothing to it. So it works just like a Zippo. You have a cotton wick right there. You have your flint striking wheel. Or you have a uh, striking wheel. And then underneath you have your flint. So. Lights up just about every single time. There we go. <laughs> it is not windproof. You can just shake it out like that or blow on it to extinguish the flame. But it doesn't really go out that easily, as you just saw. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't really recommend this as a major outdoor, uh, you know, major outdoor lighter because it is not windproof. But I think this is an excellent choice in an urban environment. You know, use it indoors, whatever. And you can use it outside, just not in a heavy wind, unless you were to block the flame. But like I said, this is kind of like one of those emergency items. You're not going to be using this all the time. So, the advantage to this is that you see right there, it comes with a rubber O-ring. It seals it, it makes it waterproof and airtight. Uh, so that's something a Zippo lighter does not have. Like I said, the threads are nice and smooth. It's very nicely constructed. And then uh, you can pinch this part right here and pull it out. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult. It might need to get some pliers. And then you have your little cylinder right here. Down there, it's all stainless. I believe the originals were uh, copper that were uh, chrome coated. So there's your cylinder right here, just like a Zippo. Underneath right here, you have a little piece of cotton. And underneath there is your batting to where you, where you would uh, squirt the lighter fluid. You can see the excess wick sticking right there. And just like a Zippo, you would, uh, you would unscrew that and pop out the spring that's pushing the flint up there. It does come with a spare flint as well, so that's pretty nice. Like I said, you fill that up. And uh, you, you can use regular Zippo brand flints with this. If I'm not mistaken, they look to be about the, about the same. Yeah, that little nub right there to make this fit down there tight. So like I said, the advantages uh, that this has over a Zippo 
is that you can carry a Zippo filled up with fluid, carry it for, let's just say, five days without using it. Well, it not being airtight, all the lighter fluid uh, fumes evaporate. They leak out of the lighter slowly, and then you're sitting there striking and striking like, what's wrong? I just filled this up a few days ago. Well, that's the problem. It's not airtight. This you can fill up, you know, close it up and everything. Carry it on your keys for months. Never use it. Take it out. Lights right up because it's airtight. And, uh, you know, you can see the, uh, the wicks getting, you know, burnt a little bit. You can always take your fingernails over here against some pliers and pull the wick up a little bit. You know, maybe you're not getting too big of a flame. If you're not getting a bigger flame, then you pull the wick up slightly. And if it's too far gone and it's not really lighting that much anymore, like I said, you pull that up and snip off the burnt part. And now you do have a lot of wick to play with here. You have about that much down, down inside. And here again, if you're only using this when you need to, that, that wick is going to last indefinitely. And the flint will as well. But if you're like me and just like to sit around and play with it, you know, you're gonna go through it pretty fast. So this thing is just super fun to play with. Like I said, it is super heavy duty. It, it feels chunky, you know, but uh, like I said, that's because of how strong it is. I'm not sure the weight, I'll, I'll annotate the weight right here. Yeah, super easy to use. Like I said, this is just an excellent emergency light carry around with you. I like the ability of being able to make fire whenever. I uh, don't like to carry Bic lighters around because they can strike in your pocket. Haven't had it happen, but it's just one of those things that could happen. Zippos here again, I don't use the lighter that much. Uh, it's one of those things I only use in an emergency or if I have to. So by the time I need it, the lighter fluid's always eva already evaporated. So this is an excellent option. This does come in four different flavors. Comes in this version and it comes in the split pea, which is exactly half this size. So it's about just the size of this, the whole lighter. So obviously you're gonna get half the fluid and it's gonna be a little bit harder to handle because it's smaller. But you know, if you do want something smaller than this, then I'd go with the split pea. And it's also solid stainless and then you can also get one this size and a split pea in titanium. Now, it's not going to be as strong, but it is going to be a lot lighter than this one. Um, and obviously you have the ability to, at home, anodize them, which is very cool. I like that ability. But these are about 850 on Countycom right now, both the split pea and this model right here, the peanut, and the titanium ones are around $35. So, But if that's what you're into, then by all means, go get that. But yeah, guys, just an excellent little piece of gear to EDC around with you on your keys. Just carry in your pocket, throw it in your, throw it in your day pack. It's just an excellent thing to have because you, you, ha you can, you can uh, make fire at will anytime. Just you know, it's very reliable, airtight, and waterproof, and just about crush resistant. Also, guys, I have to give him a shout out. Go check out Cutlery Lover's video of this lighter as well. He has a, a very old review. Uh, uh, he reviews the original models as well as this one. So uh, go check out that video as well. He has a testimonial about him losing his and dropping it in his yard and being you know, in the mud for weeks before he found it and it lit right up, no problem. So definitely go check out his video and check out some of uh, County Com's videos on this lighter as well, some of their tests. And uh, yeah, also go check out countycom.com. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Go pick one of these guys up. It's an amazing lighter. All right, guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman 614, peace.